Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a Ford C-Max. It could be any year, any generation guys, Ford C-Max. And if you need to test the seat occupancy sensor to see if it's working or not because you have an airbag light on, you're trying to figure out what's wrong, stay with us, we'll cover how to do that today in this video. It should work on any generation Ford C-Max. We'll be demonstrating on generation from year 2012 to year 2019, but it should cover all of them. It's pretty simple test uh, we'll share information and the links for everything we use computers in the description of the video below because a device like that can pay itself off in one time use instead of going to the dealership guys before we start let me tell you a little bit about us guys every single car we get here at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos why we do that simply because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep making these absolutely free videos another thing if you want to save quite a bit of money on car parts tools uh, anything for your car guys check out the link in the description of the video below that's where we get all our tools and supplies from so let's go ahead and start on it now so how we do you guys test that thing pretty simple you just come okay okay give me a second because i got caught here need to come inside okay and what we're going to do we will open that cover right here that's where the obd probably is located i'll plug the scanner okay let me get the scanner quick okay perfect and all we have to do is just plug in the wire great now I'm coming inside, give me a second and what we're going to do now we're going to turn the ignition switch on without starting the car okay you can see it like that now it said that we have two warnings let's see okay what is happening now accessory power okay perfect and open doors perfect now what do we need to do? That's the computer, guys. I'll put the link in the description of the video below where you can get it from for amazing price. If you come right here, you click diagnostics, we're going to select the VIN number, it will decode it, it will tell us which vehicle we have so we don't have to manually do that. Once we confirm, okay, we can practically uh, continue with the next step and we'll be able to test that seat occupancy mat, okay, right here and see if it's working. And that's why, okay. Yeah, if that's the reason why the airbag light is on okay and what's happening i would recommend uh, if you are not familiar with airbag systems never work on them uh, and uh, if you're disconnecting reconnecting wires if, if uh, you're qualified and certified only do that okay if you're qualified and certified if you're not qualified and certified don't work on them if you're qualified and certified always disconnect the car battery at least one hour before disconnecting and reconnecting wires and uh, that way uh, the chance for something to blow up decreases but it's still there uh, this is the vehicle that we have right here it's going to connect now and show us all the different systems and computers that it has and with the help of that computer guys you can read the lead codes and see live data for every computer system in your car and you have quite a few things okay quite a few different systems this is the current voltage right here okay 12.7 12.8 volts uh, when uh, doing tests it's important to make sure that the voltage doesn't drop less than 12.5 uh, in some cases less than 12 volts but i'll try to keep it above 12.5 you might need to connect it to the charger in some cases your car so you can avoid actually okay getting uh, uh, inconsistent results we'll select control unit here guys you have rcm this is the um, you can see restraint control module that's the airbag module from here it's communicating now we'll click live data you can see read codes to see what's wrong with it or we can see also live data here it's going to load all the parameters for the airbag system so we're just giving it some time perfect and it says airbag enable airbag lamp okay belt tensioners crash event occurred so we need to find the uh, occupant sensor now and you can see how many okay uh, how many different things we have so let's go ahead and see if it's here or, it, or it's under a specific occupant classification sensor status empty right here you can see that's empty guys right there so let's go ahead and have a person sit in it now okay and when we sit it should go from empty give it about five seconds 
to 10 seconds that it's made that way to where if you hit a bump it doesn't change it says occupied enable so that occupant sensor is working we'll get off and now after about five seconds it should go back to okay uh, occupied disable and then we'll go to empty give it another few seconds so that's a good working occupant sensor that's how you test it hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you guys next time